Hello, this is Christy. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature, another new feature introduced by TechSmith for Camtasia 2022. This is August 2022, so Camtasia launched in July, and already there are three new major features added to Camtasia. I've covered two others in other videos, but today we're going to look at the new one called Freeze Region. This feature has been around on the Mac version for quite some time, and it's finally made its way to to the Windows version. So this is what we will use today to look at this new visual effect. They call it a visual effect, freeze region. So let's see what this does and why is it better than what we used to do before. So I have a video here that I'm explaining something on it. And at some point, I can see a notification showing up in the corner. So if I zoom in there, it says, you know, there's whatever it shows on the screen. This is a good common scenario for using the freeze region effect. If you're recording something and something suddenly pops up on the screen, maybe you a notification in the corner or something, you don't want to have that in your final project, although you're not necessarily explaining anything in that area. This is, you know, could be distracting or you don't want to show some private information that shows up on that area with the notification. So therefore, you can use this freeze region effect. In the past, what I would be doing is I would be probably making a copy of the video and freeze frame and then cropping that region to freeze frame. This is exactly what the freeze region effect does. It just freezes the frame on that area, but also creates a crop in the area too. So it, this behaves like an effect. So let's see how it works. So as you can see on the timeline here, this is the point where the notification shows up. If you look in the corner right there. So before that, you know, there's nothing and you can see me explaining things. So right here, the notification comes in. So what I want to do is apply this freeze. You find it in the visual effects and it's freeze region. You drag that to your clip to start. And by default, the freeze region is in the middle. You can see it right there. It creates this region in the middle. So if I move it around, I will go to this area and cover it up like that and also resize it to cover the whole area there. Now, what happens is it freezes the start frame. And if I click this box to freeze the end frame, it will freeze the end of the frame. So what I'm actually not seeing here and, uh, you know, it's not very intuitive. How do I define where the effect applies? Because you can see right now, it's not actually showing the correct area where that I want to frozen. It's actually showing the first frame of the clip right? This is where it starts. So it's important to open this little uh, show effects dialog right there. There it is. You can show the effect added to your clip. And with this one, you can control where it starts and where it stops. So it's quite easy to you know, apply it because you apply it for the whole clip, but you don't really need it because that notification at some point is going to go away. So how can I control it? Well, I'm going to scroll through my clip and actually, you know, you move it away just so you can see what's happening. So I'm scrolling through my clip and this is where the notification comes in. So I want to just apply this starting from before. So you can use your comma key to go back frame by frame. And look, my notification is now gone. I am at the beginning of it. So I can bring the freeze region to start here. You know, feel free to use control key and mouse wheel to zoom into that area on your timeline to correctly and more accurately control the start point. And now before I adjust the region, I go back to see where my notification disappears, which is about down the road. Here we go. This is where it's disappeared. And this is where I want my effect to stop. OK, so right here. So, you know, you need to go back and zoom out a bit and grab the end of the effect and move it here at the playhead right there. So now I've defined how long is this effect going to last on the Mac version, though, the way that it was applied, it was shown as a separate sort of track. So you could see very clearly where the effect started and ended, right. But on Windows, you have to open this little um, extend the track to reveal the effects. This is the track 
attached to your clip that shows you what the effects you have. So right now, this is my clip. So I'm, I have to now move the effect in place. Okay, so I'm covering that region there and I can resize it just, uh, you know, uh, for only that portion right there. You can even, uh, you know, move the top, the bottom of it, or, you know, play, you know, make sure it covers only that black rectangle that shows up right there. Okay, that's the region I'm freezing, only the area covered by that notification that comes in. So watch this. Now, if I play, you don't see the notification showing because it's underneath. The only thing I see, though, is my mouse, because in this particular video, I was actually referring to that notification showing up. So, you know, let's assume I wasn't. So now I'm going to resize this to cover my mouse cursor as well. So here we go. It's playing now and you see there is no notification showing in that corner at all. So I keep explaining, I keep talking. And when the notification is gone at the end of this region, it will disappear. So that's how you use the freeze region effect. Now I want to show you a bunch of stuff that you can do as well. You can freeze the end frame. So if you tick this box, freeze end frame, the freeze frame is going to be taken from the end of the selection, not from the beginning. But you know, I don't know if you that's what you want to do. Basically, this effect was achieved before by basically making a copy of your clip, freezing the frame, and then cropping it to that region. That's exactly what it does. And I think I've covered this in another video in the past. So if you have Camtasia prior to 2022.1 and prior to 2022, really, that's the way you can do it. And feel free to check that other video where I show you how to hide sections or freeze little regions in your screen in the other method, using the other method. Now, let me show you another thing. So basically this region now is right there. You can of course blend it. So this is gonna, it's not very easily visible here, but what it does is it creates these uh, kind of faded corners. So if I move it around, you may see that the blended, the corners are blended. So if you want this to blend better with the rest of your video, maybe there's a bit of a difference there. You can use this blend you can see it right there to kind of fade the edges. You can also do rounded corners. You see the rounded corners there. And you can also change the opacity. So basically you can let some of it be seen through if that's what you need um, in any scenarios. So this region is not just covering things. You can also make blending and rounded corners and the opacity. Now, another thing that I was looking to see when I was trying to see when the region starts and ends, I was trying to see, can I actually apply this multiple times per clip? Yes, you can, but it can be a little awkward. You know, let me show you what I mean. So let's go back to a different clip right here where I need to cover two portions of the screen and uh, not at the same time but at different times, but they are different regions. So I have a tutorial here from my friend Chris Menard. And at some point during this tutorial, you will see that he opens up a file dialog right there. Now, normally I could blur this using the blur region, which is another feature that was added in Camtasia this month, or I could use the blur annotation to cover this. But what if I want to use this freeze region and not show that file selection at all, but I want to keep the video on the screen? The same thing, I can apply the freeze region effect and let me show you how to do it. And just to make things easy for me, I'm going to go ahead and put markers on this clip where I want this to start and to stop to make it easy for me to find the start and the end point. So as I go through the video, you can see that he goes to the save as picture dialog uh, command and immediately the file selection dialog opens up. So what I want to do is I want to use my comma key to go back frame by frame until the frame disappears. So I'm going to add a marker on the media right here. This is where my freeze region will start and move my playhead until the file dialog disappears, which is right here. OK, so marker there as well. And I'm going to actually go because there's two points where the file dialog opens down the uh, down the road on this. Again, there's a file selection showing and I want to show you because that's twice. So here we go. This is here. 
put a marker at the start and marker at the end right here i'm going to do it so two regions two portions in the same clip where i want to apply the freeze region now let's apply the first one so i go here and i go to the freeze region effect drag it to the clip by default camtasia makes that for the full duration so if i zoom out on the timeline and i open this little arrow thing there the drawer with the effects you see the freeze region is for the whole duration now here's the catch uh, if you then say well i want to restrict this just to the first se segment there i'm going to zoom in and then just make it very accurately right there here we go and just place your playhead inside just so we can select the area so i'm going to cover this file selection dialog resize it right there and as i said by default camtasia freezes the first frame of that particular segment so as you can see now he's selecting that save picture command and the file dialog opens up but you can't see it and i'm moving down moving down and then the freeze region disappears and my mouse is visible again and i'm seeing stuff on the screen very seamless and very nice now how can I apply this here for the second segment? Because it's a different sized dialog box that opens. It happens to be in the same region, but that's not a problem. And how can I do it? Well, this is one downside of the way uh, this was implemented. And I think maybe TechSmith is going to remedy this. If I want to apply a second one here, I go and freeze region and I try to apply it there. I can't. By default, Camtasia will put it before the first region, okay? So you say, hey, why, why is the problem? Because you can move it. No, you cannot. Look, I cannot then grab this second segment and move it there, okay? Two ways to work around this until maybe, you know, they sort it out. So TechSmith sorts this out. If I copy this, it doesn't work. If I try and paste it at the playhead, the effect is not going to paste and I can't move it. So my options are two one is to uh, either add the effect at the end first so the second effect let's suppose i move this first one down there and i adjust it to fill that area okay so i'm going to adjust the second one to the second file selection dialog there it happens to be a similar area but if it's not you know adjust it and now the second one <laughs> i'm going to move it in this first segment and of course you know you can uh, change the size and the duration there so this is one way to add two effects in the same clip of course i have to adjust this region as well you have to make sure that the area doesn't even touch the fading in of the window. If you're covering a window in Windows, sometimes it, they, the windows fade in. And if you just do it one frame or two later, the, then you're going to still see the sort of the window shadow popping up. As you can see here, I moved the area of the freeze frame past the starting point and I can still see the shadow of the window kind of slowly showing up. If you can still see the window, although you've, a co you've covered it, Make sure you move the the beginning of the region just slightly backward. I mean, one or two frames is not going to make a huge difference. So here we go. The freeze frame works now. It covers the area and then disappears when the area is clear. Now, to add another one, the only workable solution that I found was to just make a cut in your clip. So I have the second area I want to add here. If I add another one, you will see it adds it before the first one, not workable. And it gets, you know, creates all this conflict with the, which one is on top. And although they don't overlap, they will still show kind of at the same time. Not, I, I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just going to go and make a slight, you know, a slice uh, in here, a cut in my clip S. And now you can see that the freeze region is copied because the effect applies now to both clips. Although it's actually outside of the range now because you can't see it because it's on this other part. Okay, so I'm going to remove it, select the second half of the clip, remove the effect from that slice and bring it back into it again here. Now you can see it, it was added. It again by default fills the full region and I am free now to go in my marker 
in between my markers and adjust this to cover the new window that shows up right there. Use the corners. And of course, I can go and adjust the starting point and bring back in the ending point as well. So my recommendation is only apply one per clip while these uh, kinks are worked out because you know, it's very awkward and it doesn't really matter if it's on both of them, I guess. Here we go. This is the effect now. It's applied to the second chunk of the clip. And there you go. The dialogue appears. I don't see it and it disappears and I continue my tutorial. Now, if you absolutely insist in having this as a single clip instead of two clips, after making that cut, you can actually zoom in where you made the cut, select both clips and right click and say stitch selected media or press control alt I and there you go. And now they have become a single clip. You can still see where the stitch was made, but nicely, both of my regions now stay on the clip and they still work just fine. Look, the first one, I don't see the dialog box. And then the second one, I don't see the file selection box just as well. So that's one workaround. It's much easier and more practical to work with this in that way and have multiple regions than to try and do them from the back to the front and whatever. Okay, so that's how you work with freeze frame. This new feature added. Remember, you need Camtasia 2022.1 for these features to be in there, freeze region. There's also two more features that I'm going to cover. I have covered in other videos. This is all uh, for today. And thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos, I would appreciate uh, if you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, like this video and, uh, you know, check out the other video playlist for Camtasia in the description. Thanks again. And I will see you on the next one.